know I lived it. Welcome, folks, to what promises to be a great Tuesday night of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our reporter tonight on the sideline, David Aldridge. And we've got a quick moment now to take a look at the long-term rebounding numbers over several seasons for Christian Wood. It's a concerning trend for him. Uh, whether he's lost some strength or, or just isn't putting in as much effort on the glass as he used to, he's not rebounding nearly as effectively anymore. And that's something that needs to change. And now the Lakers starting group. The two Lakers stars on the floor. LeBron at the three and Davis at the five. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves. And it's Hachimura in at the power forward. And for the Clippers. At the guard spots, we'll see Westbrook and George. Robert Covington out there with Kawhi Leonard. And it's Plumley in at the five. And Greg, taking a look at this one here tonight, the clash at the guard positions really stands out. No question about it. Both teams rely heavily on their backcourts to get it done. And I'm interested to see which backcourt brings it tonight. Now here's Plumley. Back to Leonard. Plumley against Davis. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And guys, the best thing about Kawhi picking up assists is that it's contagious. When you've got a dominant score setting his teammates up, and everyone falls in line. One shot. One shot. On the free throw, no good. And load management, a term, Greg, that's been associated with the Clippers. And Kawhi rightfully managing his return from ACL injury with care. It's harder to build chemistry when guys are out, but it's all about staying healthy for the postseason. Shot clock at five. Drills it from outside. D'Angelo Russell. And you know, this has become a real weapon for Russell now, and it's because he's worked hard on this shot. Or three, Westbrook. Hachimura grabs the miss. And it's Davis with the ball for the Lakers. Here's Russell. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. Russell's got his second basket of the night. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. George passes to Plumley. Here's the pass to Hachimura. That one doesn't drop. Here's Westbrook. And again, it's the Clippers missing. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Now here's LeBron. A dependable source of points for his team averages just LeBron under 24 James. points a game. There's no stopping that. AD is too long and strong to bother that alley-oop. Here's George. It's a five-point game. There's a screen by Covington. And Paul George, good for the three. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Russell kicks to Hachimura. To the middle. And it's Davis missing. The Clippers have gone two for four from the field so far today. And that one's good, George. George has got five points so far. And George is very good in how he leaks out in transition, times it perfectly, and really creates high percentage shots for himself as a result. Now, here is Russell. He has five. Oh, good on the triple. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Here's Leonard and Kawhi Leonard with the slam. You know, when you're open on Westbrook's team, he makes sure to find you. He's a selfless distributor. Outside, Russell. Leonard against LeBron. Back to Russell. Over Westbrook. 
That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. Clippers have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Outside Westbrook. Leonard draws the double. Back to Westbrook. Plumley sets the pick for George. Offline with his three. The Lakers shooting it from their comfort zone so far. They're in this one, 57% for the field. James kicks to Russell. LeBron is screened on Westbrook. And D'Angelo Russell with the three. He's got 10. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Now here's Westbrook playing Brooklyn. He was nearly unstoppable. Covington a screen on Russell. And here's Westbrook from the arc. That does not fall. Still looking for his first basket after three shots. Reeves the pass to Russell. Hachimura with it. And they double up Russell. LeBron James on the wing. There's a screen. The Clippers grab the miss. They're coming off that win against the Nets. You can see it in that game, despite the odds going against them. Once it got to OT, they had that belief and resolve that they could win it. Sometimes we've seen it happen where a team that's supposed to be the underdog gets the game into OT, and then the momentum swings their way. Lakers have gone 5-9 from the field here in the first. Russell passes to Hachimura. Russell is screen on Covington. And a wide open look for Hachimura. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Westbrook against Russell. Can't hit from in close. You know, you don't always get that opportunity, so those are the ones you hate to miss. LeBron with the bucket. LeBron. Easy to see how locked in LeBron is. Get some contact on the shot, but never even phased by it. George looking over the floor. And too long on the shot. The Lakers have gotten 6 of 11 shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. You know Clark, when he's 100%, Anthony Davis, one of the premier big men in the game. Hey, I would take that qualifier off of it, Kevin. How about just one of the best players, period? He can pick and pop, he can pick and roll, he can post up. He can do everything offensively. And defensively, he's unique as a rim protector with the ability to defend on the perimeter, too. throw good Russell and one thing you respect about Russell his ability to get the rock in the hoop yeah I agree I mean he puts he puts points on the board in bunches no matter what uniform he's wearing this guy is a legitimate lethal score and that's good as he hits both of his shots by this time in the year Clark for teams that have exceeded expectations can we expect that this is their new normal I think so I mean once that kind of data is in the bank Regression usually would happen earlier, so at this point, I think it's just about building consistency from game to game. Now, here's George. He really was a guy who also stepped up in that win against the Nets. Here's Westbrook. And again, no good by the Clippers. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Outside, Russell. And the foul called out Russell Westbrook. That's his first foul, and the Clippers making a change here. Highlands checked in, and the Lakers also making a switch. Wood, he's checked in for James. So it's the Lakers now. Four-point game. Pass to Reeves. There's the triple. Nailed from three-point land. And they are shooting the lights out from distance here early. How do you stop this? I mean, it seems like they can't miss. As to Leonard. Covington is screen on Hachimura. Leonard looking around. Looking to end the run. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. 
Oh, it's not easy trying to guard Leonard inside. I can tell you that, guys. I mean, he's so good at using his body to get shots up over the defense. Now, here is Russell. 12 points for him. Shoots. And Davis can't get it to go. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Russell against Highland. Covington is screen on Russell. Here's Highland. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. And it's Davis finishing it off. And the instincts there from Hachimura. Notice the overcommitment by the defense and then makes the right pass. Highland against Russell. Highland passes to Plumley outside Westbrook. Six on the shot clock. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. That's his second make in seven attempts. Not the start he was hoping for. Russell against Highland. Russell dishes to Davis. Back to Russell. Passes it to Reeves. Here's Davis. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Davis has got six. Really a smart look that time by Wood, giving the ball up to his wide open teammate. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. We know Greg L.A.'s challenge recently has been finding the right supporting cast for their stars. And they're looking for that perfect fit. And sometimes that's all it takes, you know. It's finding those perfect one or two other guys to get you there. here for the Clippers. Marcus Morris is checked in for Plumlee. Batum comes in for Robert Covington. Martin, he's checked in for Kawhi Leonard. And it's George in for Russell Westbrook. A big group substitution here for the Lakers. James checked in for Anthony Davis. Prince comes in for Rui Hachimura. Radish, he's checked in for Austin Reeves. And Vincent subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. A minute 20 left to play in the first quarter. Highland misses. They hold the early advantage on the glass. Yeah, nothing major, not a huge advantage, but certainly a good sign for them going forward. Here's LeBron. Batum grabs the miss. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. And the pass to Highland. And he drives in. Rebound the Lakers. No excuses, none. I mean, with the defense non-existent, I mean, he has to connect from there. That is the pass to Vincent. Dishes it to James. Pass to Wood. Five to shoot. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. James has got his third assist on the night. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. 
Now, here is George. He has five, and the shot goes in. George has got seven. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. Batum against LeBron. Takes the three. That shot, no good. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Lakers lead by four. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. 25. hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one in a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Lakers how about the ball movement so far I mean the unselfishness everyone here just playing for one another and that can be infectious you know another thing they've done really well I think is get quality shots from behind the three-point line and knock them down too. Lakers leading by four so for the Lakers right now James is out there with Wood. Then it's uh, Torian Prince. Then it's Vincent. And it's Reddish in at the two. Wood against Morris. Wood kicks to James. Batum with the steal. Now here is Martin. Scoreless thus far. Here's Highland. Good on the three-point shot. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Hey there, Kevin. Kawhi Leonard continuing to work his way back to peak form after his ACL tear during the 2021 playoffs. He said, I missed a whole year of basketball. I don't want to take anything for granted. I'm just trying to live in the moment and bring a sense of energy for the team. I'm still young, I'm a lot stronger, and I'm back. So, I'm happy. Kevin? Yeah, good to see, D.A. Hey, thank you. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Five straight baskets resulting from assists. They're playing as one unit out there. And now the NBA's all-time leading scorer. Clark, LeBron did something most people thought would never be done. I'm in that camp, Greg, I tell you. Kareem was my guy. He was my idol as I was growing up. I never thought his record would be surpassed. It just shows you how remarkable LeBron has been in his production, in preparation, in taking care of his body. And this guy is still going strong. That makes him the king. One shot. That's good from George. Greg, there's been a scoring surge throughout the league. Is that due to poor defense, or is it to the rising talent level? Now listen, teams are still defending, uh, and, and the rules might have helped some. There is no doubt that there's not as much grabbing and holding. But these guys are scoring from all over the court and doing things we've just never seen before. Lakers have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Now, here's Reddish, defended by George. Here's Vincent. That three off the mark. I'm shocked that it didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Outside, George. Here's the floater. And the layup is up and in. George has got 12 in the game. 
There is no slowing down Paul George. A volcanic eruption from PG tonight. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. fantastic over the last 10 games or so he's putting up about 20 points per game nine assists and five rebounds and he's such a big part of what they do offensively yeah he's just got that nice feel that sixth sense knowing where to be on the floor to help his teammates generate points Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Vincent, the pass to LeBron. They set the pick. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Weight room muscle on display there. James, even when he gets hit, he can still score. We're always hearing the debate, who is the greatest of all time? Well, Clark, do you think passing Kareem's all-time scoring mark? Finally puts LeBron out in front. Kevin, that in and of itself puts LeBron in rarefied air, no doubt. But when you're talking about the greatest player of all time, we all have our opinion. It's just so hard, I think, to effectively debate players across different eras. I just say there have been a ton of great players throughout the history of the game, and LeBron is certainly at the top of the list, no matter when he played. Free throw, no good for James. Look, the physicality has always stood out with LeBron. It's been obvious, but his basketball IQ is what makes him such a special, special player. I mean, he sees the game like very few ever have. That one's in his first shot this game. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Ends in finds James. Shoots over Batum. LeBron's shot is good. James has got 10 points in the game. Guys, I tell you what, feels like everything is coming easy to him. Just taking what he sees and capitalizing. Highland the bounce pass. Batum with the ball. No scoring in this one. Down to five on the shot clock. He feeds it to Moore. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. That one goes on Wood. Such a versatile offensive threat. Morris draws his fair share of foul. This is his first free throw of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. In court for years, the Lakers have been the premier destination for free agents. Think that's still the case now? I do. I mean, it's still Los Angeles. The history of the Lakers is one of the premier franchises in the league, along with the Celtics. So I think cap room is the driver, though. That's always the great equalizer in this day and age. And I think that helps keep some of the small market teams in the game as well. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Would a screen on Martin. 
James, the pass to Vincent. The Lakers moving the ball around. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Hey, every defender wants to deny LeBron, but if you fall for the pump fake, all you'll do is commit a foul. And this will be his second and third shots at the line here. And on the season, he's just a shade under 80 from the line. I'll bet he'd like to get that up over that mark. And I think it's clear he's gotten better in that department since last season. I mean, he looks a lot more comfortable at the line now, and he's getting better results. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. And didn't have a single free throw in that first quarter, but he started to play with a little bit more of an edge to his game here in the second. Now here's Westbrook. He has six. On the wing, Morris. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Lakers have gone four of six in the field here in the second. James outside. Russell sets a screen for James. Over Martin. Plumley with the rebound. It's Martin on the wing, covered by LeBron. Westbrook against Russell. Back to Martin. Pass to Morris. Martin with a screen on Hachimura. A three from Morris. Gets it to go from beyond the up. Morris has got the lead up to two now for the Clippers. Now Russell. He picked up 12 points in their last one against Portland. Wood with the screen from LeBron. Passes to Vincent. Now here is Russell. For three, sinks the triple. Russell's Russell. got 15. Three points. Guys, you can just about count on it. If you score on Russell, you better believe he's looking to come right back at you. Now the pass to George. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. 14 points for Paul George. A lot of give and take between these sides early. Yeah, and both teams look like they came to play. We should have a good one. Pass to Vincent. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one on George. Yeah, the defender all over. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. Absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on. Taking what the defense gives them, guys. I mean, the mid-range shot is available, and they're knocking it down from there. I love it. And he knocks down the first one. Robert Covington's checked in for the Clippers. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Martin. Davis is checked in for the Lakers. And so Vincent nails both of them. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Pass to George. Over Vincent. The shot by George, no good. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. James with the bucket. And boy, has he picked it up since the start of the second. His shot's now starting to fall. Westbrook feeling it out a bit. Takes it out to Covington. 
Leonard inside. Covered by LeBron. Great D that time from LeBron. Vincent finds James. Here's Vincent. Defended by George. Back to LeBron. For the three. It's rebounded by Leonard. Clippers trail by four. Pass to Westbrook. Out to the wing. Plumlee dishes to George. Fades and shoots. Yes, that goes in. George has got 16. The mid-range, no problem for PG. He's really improved as a shooter. The pass to Vincent. Russell a screen on George. Here's Vincent, defended by George. Humbly with the steal. Leonard with no one around. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got three assists in the game. Outside, Russell. And they double up Russell. LeBron kicks to Hachimura. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Clippers. Two to the paint. Here's Leonard. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. George continuing to become a better passer. That's one area that's clearly improved over his career. And the Lakers call time here. Fresh from a win against Portland. They shot the lights out from deep. Really stretched out the defense in that one. There's all kind of talk in the game today about stretching the floor because when you do that, everything else just becomes a little easier. also making some changes. Wood, he's checked in for James. And it's Austin Reeves in for Gabe Vincent. One forty-six left now here in the second. And they double up Russell. Davis against Plumley. Davis, the pass to Hachimura. Yep, that one goes in there. And a solid shooter from mid-range. Hachimura with textbook fundamental. Outside Westbrook. To the inside. Here's Leonard. Hachimura grabs the miss. Hachimura's got six rebounds in the game. Outside, Russell. 102 left in the first half of the game. And here's Wood outside. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Wood's got five. Wood buries it. A good shooter off the catch. Hachimura against Leonard. Two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. 
That one on Davis. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. There's so much of what this team does at both ends centers around Kawhi Leonard. He is the anchor. Both free throws good from Kawhi Leonard. Lakers have gone 8 of 13 in the second quarter, well above the 50% mark from the field. Russell against Highland. Russell passes to Wood. And the call on the shot which sends him to the line. First and you know, Clark, it, it wasn't an easy first few years in the league. For Christian Wood. You know, sometimes the hard road is the more productive road for some guys. You know, he played for five different teams in his first four seasons, Greg, but in his fifth year, he found his groove. And sometimes it takes a little longer for the big guys to find their way. Free throw good, Wood. Really hard not to appreciate a steady big guy like Christian Wood. I mean, he knows his role out on the floor, doesn't try to do things he can't, and really gives it his complete effort and focus. I love that. No free throws, good from Wood. Yeah, a nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. My kind of hoops. Straight ahead, playing downhill and physical. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. And maybe cause some foul trouble along the way as well. We know what that can do. It pays off typically in good fashion for you. Shooting two. First one falls for him. Westbrook continues to pile up incredible numbers. I mean, his intensity on a nightly basis is absolutely insane. Both free throws good from Westbrook. Frank, their unselfish play has really been impressive. They're trusting one another out there, wanting to get each other involved. This is great basketball. Now, here is Russell. 15 points in the game, and he makes that one. Well, I tell you, Russell looking very comfortable taking on aggressive defense and getting the job done. That's good focus on his part. Covington setting the pick for Highland. And here's Westbrook from the arc. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Lakers ahead, leading by just two. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Why you have grown so much offensively throughout your career. What's the focus of that end of the floor? Uh, you know, just knocking out open shots, uh, my ball handling and making good decisions about the pick and roll and just try to limit my turnovers. And you've done well so far, Kawhi. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. Hello, basketball fans. First up on the agenda, let's take a look at the action going on around the NBA. The Nuggets winning against the Pacers in Indianapolis. 
their roll continues over their last seven games, they're six and one. Last few minutes was super tense. Both sides were just giving it all they had. And let's get into this first half. A super close game for the Clippers so far. Well, I like what they're doing. Play to your strengths. They're getting high percentage looks inside because they're not settling. Yeah, they found a soft spot in that defense. I'm telling you, they keep putting the ball inside. No need to change what's working. Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. It's been a clinic out there with D'Angelo Russell. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. You know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. Filling the two and three, the core of George and Leonard. Robert Covington out there with Plumley, and it's Westbrook in at the point. That's the group starting the second half for Teron Liu. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Clippers have their sights set high. Coach Teron Liu says this is definitely a championship team, but it's not going to just come. We've got to put the work in. There's got to be a lot of sacrifices. If we come together and do the right things, we definitely have a chance. Kevin, back to you. And David, he's a big reason why. Thanks so much. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. Clippers trail by five. Second half rolling along now, about a minute play here. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Westbrook, no good. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. Here's Reeves. Puts up decent numbers on a nightly basis, averaging about 10 points a game. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. He's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too, as a matter of fact. I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all his work from behind the arc. And here's Westbrook after D'Angelo Russell hit the three. And Davis sends it back. If you don't know exactly where Davis is, he's going to deny your shot, so you got to be aware of his presence. Here's LeBron. Ah, oh, LeBron finishes inside with authority. They're doing work. Here's the second half, three or four to start. Outside Westbrook. Six to shoot. Plumlee sets the pick for Westbrook. Sinks the three-pointer. Westbrook's got 11. There it is, the first basket of the half after missing their first three attempts. Pass to Hachimura. James sets the screen for Hachimura. Loads it up for Davis. Paul George with the steal. Westbrook against Russell. Leonard on the wing. Back to Westbrook. Just five on the clock. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. And now it's only a five-point Laker lead. You know, so often we see Westbrook with the ball driving or pulling up off the dribble. He can catch and shoot it just as well. Let's it go from 11. Good. He hits the jump shot. 22 points for D'Angelo Russell. Oh, wow. Four or five to start the half. Time out, time out. Time out. On fire. And the Clippers Sorry. call time here.
striking out numbers for Anthony Davis. A wonderful string of games he's put together here lately. Averaging around 26 points per, 12 rebounds and just over two blocks. And the intimidation factor that he possesses with his shot blocking and rim presence, really the backbone of their defense. Yeah, you know, he's protecting the rim like it's his family. I mean, don't even think about going in there. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut to just five points in the basket from Westbrook. You know, Westbrook able to score from anywhere. He just is so assertive and confident in what he can do out there. Reeves the pass to Russell. Shot from free throw range. He's still on. Now he is 9 of 10. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. On the wing, James. He's covered by Westbrook. And it's Davis finishing it off. What determination on the boards. His work ethic really standing out right there. Well done by Davis. Now, here is George. 16 points for him. George, double team. Shot clock at six. Leonard. Down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. What a deft touch on the floater. Leonard's offensive arsenal continues to impress. And here is Hachimura. LeBron passes to Reeves. Russell with a wide open look. His three pointers off the mark. Clippers trail by seven. Leonard finds Covington. Back to Leonard. Over Russell. And it's Leonard. That time on the assist from Covington. Leonard's got four this quarter. Unselfishness always admirable in a basketball player. And Covington consistent at giving it up when one of his teammates is open. And the Lakers call time here. Covington and the Lakers also making a change. Vincent's checked in. to the right wing. Back to Russell. And they double up Russell. Fires for three. No good there. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Trailing by five. 
outside. George gets up a three. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got three assists in the game. Smooth and consistent. That's how I describe George's three-point shooting. Now here's James. He's got 18. Lakers passing it around. Russell finds Hachimura. Here's Davis. Right through the D for the lamp. Davis has got four this quarter. Even when the defense is stellar, Davis still able to score the ball. That's what makes him an elite talent. He can make hard shots look easy. Now here's Plumley. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over eight points a game. George, double team. Here's Morris. Count it good. And that's now six points for Marcus Morris. Seeing George spread the wealth and picking up the assist. I think he's a better player when he's sharing the ball like that. Back to Russell. A good look from Hachimura. Plumley with the rebound. Plumley's got five rebounds tonight. Yeah, you know, he hasn't contributed well scoring the ball, but obviously his teammates have. Now here's Westbrook. He's got 15. Now here's Leonard. Pocket six. For the time. Great tee that time from James. The Lakers in the lead. Pass to Hachimura. He kicks to Russell. Back to Hachimura. Here's Vincent. Off target with his three. And you know, even though that shot didn't go down, I, I like how they got him a wide open look in space there. Westbrook passes to George. George double team. Entered on the wing. Morris with a screen on LeBron. Shoots it up. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. You know, he looks a little off kilter to me this quarter. Still trying to find his rhythm. Vincent the pass to Davis. Here's Hachimura. Fader on the way. No good from LeBron. Clippers have gone 7 to 13 in the third quarter so far. Just above 50%. George double teamed. Inside. Here's Leonard. And it's all evened up. Leonard's got 17 now. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And for the Lakers, their shooting has been fun to watch in this game. They're at 57%. LeBron James on the wing. Russell is screen on Leonard. Leonard against James. And the drought count. And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. It's on Kawhi Leonard. Hey, I really like what I'm seeing from LeBron here tonight. Keeping it simple. He's going to the hot hand, which is him. That's pretty good. Hey, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for the Lakers. Well, I've been impressed with the ball movement all game long. They're really looking to just What's make up? that extra pass. You know, something else that stood out to me is the fact that they continue to force it inside. They were intentional about getting that ball in the paint, and they were looking to score whenever possible in the post. Free throw good, LeBron. Clippers trail by three. One sixteen left to play here in the third. Island deciding where to go with it. Outside, Mark. Six on the shot clock. A three from Leonard. Another miss by Leonard. You know, after connecting on one three-pointer in the first half, he hasn't netted another one since. Davis, the pass to Vincent. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Morris has got four rebounds in this game. Leonard against Davis. Passes it to Highland. Feeds to Morris. Unloads. No problem on the jumper in close. Morris has got four this quarter. You know, Batum is not just a scorer. He's a really good all-around player. Very effective at finding the open man, too. Vincent, the bounce pass. With the fadeaway. The shot's good LeBron from LeBron. Here. And the Lakers lead by three. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. 
Here's Highland, defended by Vincent. Highland with it. He has five. The pass to Leonard. Fades back. He can't get that one. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. Lakers lead by three. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony man, on all sides. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. So for the Lakers right now, that is out there with Vincent. Then it's Christian Wood. And it's LeBron James. And it's Prince in at the small forward position. The shot by George, no good. Lakers leading by three. Now Reddish has to Vincent. That one rolling around and rims out. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Martin finds George. Martin with it. He's picked up by James. Here's Highland. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. You know, the screen wasn't that great, but still he got it done. Excellent concentration on the hard finish. Here's Vincent. He's defended by Highland. Tries from 10. LeBron playing LeBron like a big man inside. And yeah, nice touch from the inside. I, I'm a fan of when LeBron just burrows his way inside and takes advantage. Morris passes to Highland. Outside, Batum. And he hits it to tie the game up. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a critical juncture. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. LeBron against Batu. James, the pass to Wood. Back to LeBron. Banked in off the glass. LeBron James. James has got 14 points here in the second half. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Island with it, defended by Vincent. George, no good. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. From deep, James. Rebound by the Clippers. When this game is done, they'll be off to take on the Raptors. They start a long road journey there. That'll be the first of a seven-game road trip. Far from just a perimeter shooter, I like seeing Batum go to work in the painted area. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. And the Lakers call time here. The short rest, very important, and one of the benefits of this part of the game is getting on the same page with your team while having the chance to hydrate with Gatorade. Replenish your energy for the late game push.
the Clippers making a switch here. Westbrook's checked in. The Lakers also with the sub. D'Angelo Russell's checked in for Gabe Vincent. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. During that break, Coach Darvin Ham talked to his team. Now he reminded his team, keep looking for the deep ball. If the three is there, take it. You've done a good job getting those looks, so keep taking them. Back to you guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Russell is screen on Batum. From deep, James. James cooking from deep. And he's finally getting the feel from beyond. His second three of the half right there. Pass to George. Morris outside. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Lakers. They've led by as much as 10. James finds Russell. And they double up Russell. Reddish's shot is good. Terrific read on the part of Russell that time. Scanned the court, spotting the open man, and then whipped it there for an easy bucket. George with the ball. And it's Reddish picking him up. The shot by George, no good. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. George has got 21 in the game. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And you know you're gonna get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Out to Russell. He dishes it to LeBron. Another shot. Shoots over Batum. And that one hits back iron. Well, that's a good player missing from point blank range. That's one you got to convert. Passes it to Westbrook. Morris a screen. The pass to George. George double teamed. Clock at four. And here's Westbrook from the arc. LeBron grabs the miss. Lakers leading by four. Reddish finds James. Morris against Wood. Pass to Russell. And they double up Russell. Launches it. And again, the Lakers no good. The Clippers have gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth or of nine. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's on D'Angelo Russell. Love the aggressiveness from Westbrook to fight through some contact there on the shot. Russell Westbrook, two shots. First free throw is good. A different look for the Clippers. Mason Plumley's checked in for Marcus Morris. Robert Covington comes in for Nicholas Batum. And it's Kawhi Leonard in for Martin. The Lakers also changing it up. Davis is checked in for Christian Wood. Hachimura comes in for Torian Prince. And it's Austin Reeves in for Cameron Reddish. He makes one of two that time. Lakers leading by three. Outside, Russell. Pass to James. Over Westbrook. And LeBron, LeBron gets James. it to go with the assist by Russell. That's now 32 points for LeBron. Plumley with a screen on Russell. Westbrook passes to Leonard. Puts up a three. Westbrook with the bucket. Westbrook's got four points now in the quarter. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. Hachimura with it. Now Covington defending. LeBron can't get it to go. The Clippers have gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Westbrook passes to Leonard. Back to Westbrook to take the lead. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. 
Davis has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Outside Russell. Trying to find Davis. He's got it. Now. And it's slammed in by Davis. One of the dominant dunkers in the league. Davis can put on the show in there. Outside, George launches a three, and he's good on the three ball. George has got 24. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. The finish gets the bucket and the foul. That one on Davis. And George just has an uncanny knack for driving these kinds of baskets. And he makes it look so easy. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. Their accuracy in this one has just been on another level. I mean, the three ball keeps falling, and the defense just hasn't been able to run them off the line. And I love the way they've been attacking the basket. I mean, they've looked to penetrate every opportunity they've had, and they've done a nice job doing that. Always been nails from the line. Something George takes pride in. The Lakers have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. Back to Russell. And they double up Russell. Davis finds Hachimura. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got his third assist on the night. One thing you can say about Hachimura, he is not afraid of the challenge. Now here is George. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Time running low, guys, and uh, somebody has got to win this one. Yeah, well, who knows? We might need overtime in this one. It's been that kind of a game. Thirteen foul. At the line for LA, Paul George. One shot. Lakers have gone 7 of 13 from the field here in the fourth. Here's Reeves. Davis surveying the floor. And George gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. Personal foul. First team foul. Left to the wing. Passes to Reeves. Shot clock at six. And another three for the Lakers. And he just seems to always deliver in the clutch. And, and he's got it going right now. That's who they want taking the big shot. Now here is George. And Davis sends it back. And for the ball out of bounds, Davis touched it back. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. Such great timing, defensive awareness, too. When you have to face a defender that can reject you like this, it certainly can change your approach. <laughs> Leonard against LeBron. Covington, a screen on LeBron. Six to shoot. The three. And Covington with the basket on the assist by Leonard. Leonard's got assist number five here tonight. Man, I tell you what, you just really got to admire and respect the fearlessness of Covington. Never backs away from taking a crucial shot. Timeout called the Lakers.
Lakers have gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Outside Russell. And they double up Russell. Reeves. Off target from outside. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage play. To the middle, here's Covington. The shot's good on the assist by George. George has got his fourth assist in this one. And it's always terrific when Covington gets going down in the paint. I mean, this guy can score the ball from anywhere on the floor. Now here's LeBron. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Second person. Second team. At the line for the Lakers. LeBron James. Two shots. Good on the first, and that narrows the lead down to just three. Well, LeBron's used to shouldering the load, and there's no question he can handle these big moments. And both free throws good for LeBron. This is what makes him special, his ability to come through in these spots. Here's George. Not a lot of room. Plumlee, no luck. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. The pass to Reeves. Lakers working the ball around now. LeBron against Leonard. Pass to Hachimura. Six on the shot clock. Russell from long range. And it's sent back by Plumlee. George finds Bumley. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Well, Paul George has been sensational. Fourteen foul. At the line for LA, Paul George. One shot. From Leonard. And they go to the intentional foul. LeBron James. Second personal foul. 15 foul. At the line for LA. Russell Westbrook. Two shots. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And he does get the second one, and that increases their lead to six. And not as productive a trip as you would like, but they're still in a pretty comfortable position. Here's James. Pass to Reed. Westbrook with the steal. And here we go with Westbrook running it up the court. And finished off by Westbrook. Yeah, you better mind the ball when you've got Russell Westbrook defending you. This guy stays in front. He's got active, aggressive hands. And the Lakers call time here. They trail by eight. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Is what's your take? Trying to keep hope alive, but, but I don't see them making a comeback. You know what? I'm sure crazier things have happened, or, or maybe not. It's, it's a long shot, though.
19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's money from deep. LeBron James is clutch. Not the first time he's done that, nor will it be the last. And now they decide to foul attention. D'Angelo Russell, second personal foul. The team is in the penalty. At the line for your Clippers, Russell Westbrook, two shots. the first one and that increases their lead to six and so both free throws are good and it's a seven point game it's yeah, showing off a really smooth stroke there and that will add to their lead Reeves the pass to Hachimura buries it from outside really, and you see the composure of Hachimura not feeling the pressure of the moment oh, at all. They foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. No, you got to foul. I mean, it's going to come down to free throws here. Foul right away. First free throw is good, and that puts them up by five. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. I think it's a wrap. When the game's on the line, he knows how to deliver the crushing blow. James looking around. So the Clippers with the win. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges, but really held firm when they needed to. On both ends, just effective in terms of coming away with this win. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you very much, Kawhi. How do you evaluate your team's progress at this point in the season? We got to come out and just have the same mindset and energy every night. You know, that's the thing that we're working on, trying to be consistent at, and just knowing the game plan. And, you know, once we get that down and we start making our shots, it's going to be very hard to beat us. And you're winning games in the meantime, man. Thanks. Back to you. All right, David, thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us as we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Paul George.